Myself and Rajasekharan, Ashton Professor, Nippon Mode of Tripoli, KS Rangasamy College of Technology. So, in today's subject, Generation Transmission and Distribution. So, in this subject, we are go uh, today I am going to discuss about the topic, a SAG calculation. So, SAG is nothing but, um, so we are having a transmission tower A and B for example, the lowest point on the conductor to the top portion of the tower. So that is called uh, SAG. Okay. The, the why we need to calculate SAG. So if suppose your SAG length is uh, very high means, so you are going to uh, uh, you are going to have the more voltage drop in the transmission system. And also uh, and, uh, due to the uh, high wind velocity, so there is a possibility of um, conductors are circuited, uh, it is also happening. So we have to uh, calculate the, the SAG and also the tower, to tower distance and weight of the conductor. So this will be helpful to uh, design a, a proper transmission system. So, um, so here in this uh, subject uh, topic we are going to discuss about the SAG of equal interval and unequal interval. The SAG of equal interval means uh, in this picture, so the point A and the point B are uh, represented by uh, uh, the conductors of uh, the two towers and uh, the O point represents the lowest point on the conductor um, and the L represents the length of the span. The span length is uh, nothing but a tower to tower distance um, and also uh, W is nothing but weight per unit length of the conductor. So here the H is nothing but tension in the conductor at the maximum a deflection point of O and the TB is nothing but tension in the conductor at the point of support by B. Okay. So these are the representation of SAG calculation of equal interval. Um, so here uh, so we are having this SAG at O, o point so, but uh, we are going to take a yeah, uh, distance of 1 by 4th from B. So in that point we are going to calculate the SAG then uh, after that uh, taking a small point then we are going to take a um, uh, point at O. So next one is uh, the consider uh, the section OB is the equilibrium tension of the conductor and the force on it are the horizontal tension H at O. Okay. So we are having a weight on the conductor um, in the uh, due to the uh, gravity and the tension in the conductor and the support. So we are going to consider tension as well as weight. So here uh, we are considering OB. O is nothing but lowest point on the conductor. B represents the tower point. So in this point we are having a tension. So and also uh, horizontal tension represented at H and O. Okay. Then the weight of the conductor OB acting vertically downwards through the center of the gravity at a distance of 1 by 4 from B. So we are having a weight on the conductor. So due to that weight on the conductor there is a gravity. So the conductor weight uh, under tension towards to the gravi gravity at a distance of 1 by 4 from B um, and the tension at uh, the point is uh, TB. Okay. So from the uh, equilibrium equation H del is nothing but uh, weight and weight on the conductor uh, from O to B uh, into length of the span by 4. So since OB approximately equal to the length uh, L by 2. So totally we are having length L. Uh, OB represents the uh, 50 percentage of the line. So it, uh, it is equivalent to L by 2. So take moment about B. So we are going to take the moments at B. So H del is nothing but W into O B. So OB represents the um, length of conductor by 2. So L by 2 into uh, L by 4. So L by 4 is nothing but where we are going to take the tension at the moment. Okay. So if you are calculating, so you will get it del is nothing but W L squared by 8H. So the above equation shows that SAG in a freely suspended conductor is directly proportional to the weight per unit length of the conductor and the square of span length and inversely proportional to the horizontal tension. So if you want to calculate your SAG um, means you need to uh, know the data of weight of the conductor, length of the span and tension on the conductor. Um, so this proportionality uh, uh, will give the support to the design engineer 
uh, to calculate this angle of equal interval. Suppose here, uh, here uh, our transmission line is traveling in the hilly area. So, there is not possibility of a, a equal support of uh, uh, two uh, towers or transmission line. So, in that position, so we need to calculate the sag. So, it is also important. So, based on the sag, so only we can go with the design of the insulators. Okay. So, insulator having uh, a good mechanical strength. So, the strength is designed based on the sag weight calculation only. So, here in a hilly area or sloping ground, uh, the supports are not usual at the same level. So, for the calculation of sag and tension at an equal supports level, consider a conductor of A, O, B. Uh, the portion of O, A and O, B may be treated as uh, cantonese of half span and uh, LX are present respectively shown in the figure below. Next. So, here the structure is unequal supports level. Here we are going to consider A, O, B. So, and also we are having one more point B dash. So, B dash is nothing but actual span length portion, but in a hilly portion, uh, the physical structure is not like that. So, we are going to consider A to B only in between O, O is nothing but lowest uh, point on the uh, conductor. Okay. So, H is nothing but difference span length uh, between A and B. So, length L horizontal span length of AB, X horizontal distance of A and the lowest point and uh, L minus X horizontal distance of B from lowest point of O. Okay. So, these are the various parameters we are going to take in for unequal supports. So, for the sag at OA and OB is expressed by the equation um, del uh, S1 or del 1 is nothing but H by W cos H of uh, W into L minus X by H minus 1 for equation 1 and del 2 for H by W cos H WX by H minus 1 of equation 2. So, the tension at a point, uh, point A and point B are given by T A is nothing but H cos H of WX by H and uh, the second length is H cos H of W of L minus X by H. So, the maximum tension will occur at B since L minus X is greater than X as seen in the figure above. The vertical reaction at the higher support um, is uh, W into L minus X. Vertical reaction at the lowest support is WX. So, these all equations are represented in the uh, figure itself. So, the so the, for the calculation it is assumed that AOB is like a parabola. Okay. If you see the structure AOB, it is like a parabola. So, from that we are going to calculate the SAG1 and SAG2. So, SAG1 is nothing but W of L minus X whole square by 2T and SAG2 is nothing but W X squared by 2T. Okay. So, then, um, then H is nothing but uh, the distance of a 2 SAG, okay, height of 2 SAGs. So, S1 minus S2 which is equal to W L X L minus X whole square by 2T minus W T square by 2T. So, if you rearrange the equation, you will get it W L by 2T of L minus 2X. Again, we can calculate the X value from that. X is nothing but L by 2 minus T H by W L. So, from that, we can um, we can uh, calculate the value of L minus X, which is nothing but L by 2 plus T H by W L. So, the value of X is obtained from the uh, above equation may be substituted in the equation 5 and to calculate the uh, sag at OA, then equation 8 shown at shown that the lowest point um, lies outside the span of AB, hence a conductor in a span under consideration exert an upward force and the conductor tends to swing clear at the lower supposed. So, this unequal support calculation which will be very helpful for the design engineer uh, when the transmission line is travels in the hill area. So, uh, so by this uh, calculation only we can uh, we can know about the uh, tension on the conductor and uh, how much uh, strength of insulator we have to provide to balance the mechanical weight on the conductor as well as the um, as well as the wind formation also. So, the say calculation also uh, including in some other areas. So, in uh, in some other countries we are having the ice loading. So, if you are uh, go to some other uh, ice, ice landing um, 
um, area so the uh, ice is formed over the conductor surface so we have to consider the ice coating weight also for uh, designing the uh, sac calculation as well as the uh, insulated design also so thank you